Yo, I'm on live. If you see me on live, don't try to call me. I'm on live. It's crazy. As soon as you go live, that's when somebody try to like. It's like they purposely call you. So I said, how many honey bottles you drink a day? Uh, I don't drink bottles a day. <clears throat> now a cup. <clears throat> probably, we probably go through like a bottle. Like we go through. We can do a bottle a day. But that's everybody drinking it. They ain't just me, Dolby. Hell no. I could never. Hell no. I'll be fucked up. A whole bottle. Nigga said, how many, how many bottles a day? Nigga, not even one. What can you talk about? Unless we all drinking on that shit. I don't know what type of shit y'all be on. <laughs> That's OD. I drink, but damn. Is it hard to get your grills clean? No. You just brush your damn teeth. <laughs> Toothpaste and hot water. And scrub with the toothbrush. It's like your teeth. You treat it like your teeth. <clears throat> you got to clean on the inside, clean on the outside, clean, make sure, like, any, like, food or whatever. Clean that shit. I clean my grill every single day, at least two times a day. Yeah. You clean that, and then you clean your teeth. Clean your teeth, then you clean your grills, then you put your grills on. These ain't permanent. People be thinking these permanent. They ain't not permanent. I can't do the permanent. I don't know how niggas do it. I can't even eat with my grills in. I don't know how niggas do it. You don't even taste nothing. Like, you try to chew gum with your grills in, it's like, it's weird a little bit. And you don't really taste nothing when you, when you eat with your grills. I be taking my shits right out. Because I'm a smack. I like to smack when I eat. I like to taste my food. I mean, how does the grill stay on? <clears throat> they they got to mold your teeth. They mold your teeth so the girls can fit your teeth and it, it, it clamp on. I like these ones. Shout out to Johnny Dang. That's my nigga. I got them from Johnny Dang, Ace Time. But um, these was like perfect. Like these, sometimes girls be too tight and they start to irritate your teeth and your gums. And you gotta like take them out sometimes and just let your gums and shit breathe. But these ones, shout out to Johnny. Johnny Dang, that nigga fish with his girls. These shits fit me perfect. You know what I mean? Like, they don't hurt. I can keep them on all day. You know what I mean? And, and I'm Gucci. Like, they come right off. Ah. Uh, see? Ah. Uh, come right off. Oh, this one. There go. Right there. And just, come on. But this one is like, but they lock in on your teeth. Some of them be too tight. I can't do it. That too tight shit be hurting. But these ones is perfect. Speaking of Johnny Day, I need to hit them. I need to hit up Johnny Dan. I need, I need some new Jones. I need some other shit, some princess diamonds, some princess cut diamonds. I need something different than honeycomb diamonds. I need some some different shit. I've been doing this grill shit for too long. Now it's time to upgrade again. Anybody, if you do some fire-ass grills, let me know. Hit my DMs. But nah, these shits is perfect. They fit me perfect. I like how he, it, it comes straight. I fuck with Johnny. I think I'm going to go back to Johnny. Johnny making shits like, I like it up to my speed. I fuck with it. I don't got one of those. Stop playing with me. Just make a deep brush your teeth. Nope. I drink Hennessy in the cleaner. I drink a lot of water too though. And I got these off the love too. I got my grills off the love. I ain't pay for these. So if you're trying to make them grills, you're trying to make them pay. It's a dub. Unless I'm getting some, you know what I mean, some different shit. Just Henny or you got some blunts. 
Nah, no, I don't think it's smoke one type of weed. That's why I don't fuck with weed too crazy. I don't think it's smoke indica. If you don't have indica, I cannot smoke it. Because I, I got anxiety. So if I smoke a sativa or a hybrid, I literally like start tweaking. <laughs> I, remember this, <laughs> I remember this one time, my son, right? I'm about to tell you this story. I just need to listen for a quick second. Blue, if you watching, you bitch ass nigga. I'm talking about you, nigga. You know exactly what I'm talking about if you watching this shit. I was in the studio, right? So, you know, I usually get like a specific type of weed or whatever the case that I smoke. And he, you know, he he know type of shit I smoke, whatever the case. So the person I got it from, he got his shit from too, right? So he come in the studio, you know what I mean? He like, yo, I see him smoking. So I took a hit of it, but I didn't smoke it too much. You know what I mean? I just took like a pull or two, I was good. So being that he told me it's such and such is, I'm like, okay, this is my regular shit, I'm good. I'm drinking a little bit in the studio, getting a vibe. I just go smoke again, right? So I'm pulling this shit up. Now this time I'm a little more comfortable because now I know I'm pulling it. I'm like, yo, this such and such shit, right? He like, yeah. So I'm pulling it regular. I'm just sitting there, I'm watching the engineer like kind of mix the record up a little bit. I'm looking at my phone. I start feeling a little weird. I'm like, like I felt like I was just like looking around like too much. So I start getting a little jittery. So I'm like, I like that this nigga. I said, yo bro, this is what you call this shit, right? He like, yeah. I said, what is it? He said it's, um, I forgot what he said. I forgot what it was at the time. I said, this ain't the one I get, bro. You got me smoking this shit, bro. <laughs> Why you didn't tell me it was something different? He like, oh, my fault. I didn't know because you said was it from such and such. And I figured that's that's the same shit. I'm like, no, boy. After that, I started tweaking. Not like a bad tweak. Not like fucking losing my mom. But I know how to handle it. It just boosts my, my anxiety. So I start feeling like, you start feeling like an out-of-body experience type shit. Yeah, if you ever been through it, you understand, for me. But I understand it now, because I suffer from anxiety, so it give you, like, this weird feeling, like, your thoughts be literally on the outside of your body, like, you feel like you, <laughs> shut the fuck up, you feel like you, like, like, I don't even know, bro, it's like a, like, you, you're conscious, like, you can't concentrate. Like, I don't be concentrating. I'm like, yo, I can't dwell on the moment. Like, this shit be having me, like, thinking, 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 like, so, I remember I had to like call somebody to like keep me like on point. And 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 what also helps me too, like when I go through that stage, I gotta drink like liquor to balance it out. Because I be like like too high, so the liquor like kinda like balance it out. So I get like a different type of feeling. I swear to God I was when I'll tell you I wild out on these niggas, bro. I was so tight. First of all, I'm this is what's crazy. We go downstairs, we downstairs from the studio, cause now at this point I'm like, yo, I gotta get a bottle. I gotta get some liquor, bro, because I'm tweaking right now. We go in the car. These niggas is hot. Rain and blue is hot as fuck. So they slow in the mind. Meanwhile, I'm tweaking. They enjoying their little luxury weed. I'm over here fucking tweaking. So I start yelling. I'm like, yo, bro, hurry up. Start the car. Let's go to the liquor store, bro. He, and they so hot. They like, all right, bro. All right. This <laughs> is slow motion. So I'm even more tight because these niggas ain't even like on point. They just high. So I feel like I'm all alone. So that's why I had to call somebody to like get my mind off the shit. So I, I ain't gonna lie, I guzzled a whole fucking bottle of Chirac. And like, it, it, it helped, like it started to help. I swear to God, I wild on them, yo. I'm like, yo, y'all niggas is stupid, bro. Like, why wouldn't you tell me this, bro? Now I can't even finish my song. I was dumb smack because I had to finish the Chirac. So I go back up to the studio and I'm done, finished, finito. Fell out. Right on the fucking couch. Woke back up. Finished the song. <laughs> yo, yo, this is the type of shit. Y'all don't even know. Like, certain shit niggas be going through like that. Like, weird shit, bro. I'm like, yo, y'all know what type of weed I smoke, bro. Like, come on, man. I was so tight with niggas, bro. Because, like, I've been through that shit multiple times. I had one bad tweak before, like, back in 2012. Like, years ago. Eight years ago, bro. Tweak. Or some weed or whatever the case. 
And like since then, like I've been just like I be casual with it. I don't smoke as much. I be casual with it. This nigga gave me the wrong fucking weed. He like it was a, I think it's a hybrid or like a, uh, or a sativa, or some shit like that. And I'm like, come on, bro. You know I do indica, bro. So once he said it was that, I I really start tweaking. Cause you know once your mind knows something ain't right. I hurried up, I'm running down, <laughs> I'm running down the steps to go outside and <laughs> get some fresh air. <laughs> I'm looking at the streets, everything just look like I'm not even real, bro. Like y'all understand, but I, I I know how to handle it, so I'll go through it for a little moment. And then like probably like a good 30 minutes of the last 40 minutes. You still I still be a little jittery after, but I'll be good like at the like the next the next day, I'll be like, I'm back to normal type shit. Different huh? I don't like that high. I don't know how y'all niggas do that high. That's not a good high, bro. That high is different. I can't do that that uppity high. Indica is the, the it's good for anxiety, so it, it, it brings you down. You feel me? Like it brings you to like a calm state. That's what I smoke. Can't do. I don't know how y'all niggas be turned up. Y'all niggas be smoking sativa, be having a high. Like how you be having an uppity high? I don't understand that shit. When you high, you supposed to feel relaxed. I ain't gonna lie, I need some weed right now. I need some indica. <laughs> I don't care. I don't know how niggas do it, bro. I've been through that. I've been through that little sh- sh- anxiety shit a few times. But I know how to handle it, so I'm good, you know? And you wake up the next day. I ain't gonna lie, you wake up the next day still like a little little shaky, like a little ah, you know what I mean? Like, eh. But I'm, I'm, I'll be good. Like, I'll be good after that. He just know he can't do that shit again, bro. <laughs> that nigga can't pass you the blood. He know the box. I'd be like, yo, bro, what's this? Who this? What's this? What's this name? What's going on? Fuck that. <laughs> Niggas be crushing the shit out of the blood. I be looking at it. I be like, what inches? Pause. Is this, bro? What buds is in here, bro? What roll-up is you using, bro? I be observing of the blood, bro. Who the fuck you pass this to, bro? I need a fresh blunt. I don't need nothing niggas was already smoking on type shit, for me. <laughs> yeah, hell no. I would never do an edible, bro. Never. Never. Y'all bugging. I, I know a couple of my mans done did this shit or whatever the case. Never. I never ate edible. Edib- Yo, that's different. First of all, the fact that I'm tweaking off a fucking blunt. You know, the edibles is like in your blood. So that hot lasts way longer and it hits you randomly. I don't, I can't do that shit. Fuck that. Y'all niggas be tweaking. Y'all be tweaking eating some fucking edibles, bro. And you don't know when that shit gonna hit and it tastes mad good. Shit, I'm crazy. Nigga, <laughs> I said my greedy ass would do an edible. <laughs> Hell no, bro. I won't never do an edible, ever. You ain't gotta tell me don't do it. Shrooms, hell fucking no. I don't do no pills, no none of that. That's what I be trying to tell you. I don't fuck with that shit, bro. You see, this is it, right here. You see this little brown bitch right here? This this is it. This is what I know. This all I, I know what it does to me. I know what it will do to me. I know it gives hangovers sometimes or whatever it do. I know already. It ain't gonna never do nothing different. Them pills and edibles and sativas and shit like that, man, fuck that. That shit is iffy. That shit wishy-washy. Yeah, crazy. Somebody said worst mistake is eating like a snack. Yeah, I heard. I heard people be like just liking how it tastes. 